All right, guys, so like I promised, I'm going to do that radio for the Ford Taurus removal and then replacement. Um, basically, what I'm going to show is how to take the radio connector, the um, heating, like heating and cooling dial, the fan dial, and the location dial connectors off, and then replace it with a whole new cover set. Um, on these cars... On this car, um, the problem was that I could only get FM radio, so it sucked if I was going down the road and all I had was commercials playing and I had to listen to them. I couldn't listen to my CD player or anything else. So this is just how to do the factory. Um, the thing with Ford Tauruses, I think I said this in my other video, is that you have this one shape and it is a pain to get, like, say, a Sony Pioneer, whatever kind of... Um, other radio you want installed just because you have this um, heating control attached to your radio and it is possible to actually take the two off and uh, make them separate but that, that's just a lot of work um, there is if you want to do like iPods or phones or um, anything like that that takes auxiliary you can actually go I don't know how much you'd have to look up the original price but you could see how much it would cost to take out your CD player and they will actually instead of having a CD player they'll give you a cassette player and that cassette player will be used as an auxiliary it'll have a auxiliary end to like a jack like an auxiliary jack and you can plug your cord or put plug your phone into the outlet or the jack so like I said, this is just so I can actually use my CD player, because it sucks not having it. So what you're going to see here, first off, is your radio connector. This will be your fan connector right here. Your heating and cooling, so like whether you want it to be a like little bit cool but not too cool, or hot but not too hot, you can adjust that with that dial. And then over here you have your um, air conditioning, your AC, and then say like whether you want it to go to the floor or to the um, the frost or whatever, that's what this cable would be for. So first off, we're going to take this radio connector off. Um, this is easiest if you have a screwdriver or something of some sort. You can also take off, and all this one does is it just pops up. So this is probably the easiest of the connectors unless it's really in there which it doesn't seem like it is. So, this is actually probably the easiest one over here for me. So I can just pop that one out. On this one, you'll see that right here is a little notch. Push that notch in, and you're going to have to pull up. It is, these ones with notches are a little bit difficult. So there is that notch. On this one, you'll see that you have this top piece um, right there. All you're going to do is actually put a screwdriver, push it in, which I might be able to do with my fingers if I can musk the finger strength. Okay. So see on this one, yeah, all you have to do is push that in and it'll pop out. And then on this one right here, I'm probably going to have to have my keys for this one. You need to put it where this little notch is. And all you have to do is just pop, like, prop it up. So, I don't know how to hold this. I'm actually going to set this down for a second while I do this. Okay. So, oh. So like that, it sits in, and it'll pop up. All you do is just push this piece in, and it'll pop straight up. So you can take that out. So we have all of these connectors down in here pulled out. And now for your radio. Um, you're going to see that right here is like a little, little focus. Let's turn this and see if I can get a better... 
that's a little bit better. Right there you can see it's got like the little notches that you can put your fingers into or put a screwdriver in. So I'm going to set this down again real quick. Okay, so yeah, all you have to do is push a little tab on that one and it'll pop straight out. So now we can get this radio out of the road. And then we have our replacement radio. And all we're going to do is connect the jacks to where they were supposed to go. This one will plug right there. It'll be the one that has this little styrofoam on it. And if it's not, you'll tell by this end. It's like a rubber end. It's the only one with a rubber end. Then next you will have this black one with the red front. Plug that in. Until it's in there tight. Okay, we're good. Then you're going to have your white one. Plug that in with this tab facing out like that. Alright. Then we're going to have our fan control, which is the gray one. It's the bigger block. Snap that down in. And finally, we're going to have our radio, which will go straight in. And voila, that's basically it. Now let's go ahead and set that down like this for a second. All right, and it snaps right in. And there she is, she's got the new radio. So let's see if everything works correctly. Alright, we have a clock, and you're going to have to set that. I can't actually tell what time it is, based on the fact I'm in my car using my phone. So, I'll have to change that with hour minutes. So, let's see if I can get FM. Visit SiotaDowns.com for more information. Get FM. Your phone, a radio. The best stations from around the world. I get my AM. And I might have a CD. I do have some CDs in here. And let's see. I don't know what the song's gonna be, so hopefully no one's like, oh, this song, really? Alright, so it looks like my CD player is working indeed, so that's even better for me. But that's not all we want. We want to be able to use our heating controls, because look outside, and it is snow everywhere. So what we're going to do first... Alright, I know the fans are working, because I can hear them. I know my selector is working because I can hear the fan turn on off when I hit the selector. And it just depends on however long it takes your car to heat up. So you'll know. I mean, put your hand on the defrost or on the vent if it blows hot air out, which I can actually feel not hot. Yeah, it's, it's warm. so. That's basically it. So if there are any other questions, just let me know. Um, if you want to just keep checking on all your radio stuff, like scanning, I can adjust my bass, my treble, which I'm going to have to do. Don't mess with your balance. What your balance does is it will do from your left to your right speaker. So if I actually use my balance all the way to my right, my right speaker will actually play all of the audio while the left won't. If I do it vice versa, then my left has all of the audio. 
and fade is just whether or not you want the whether it to be like a balanced play or not um, so that's basically it um, any questions just let me know um, thanks for watching I have other videos if you want to check those out I'd really appreciate it like comment subscribe any other videos you guys want me to do just let me know I'm more than happy to do any other videos that you need me to do um, whether it comes to Ford Tauruses, electronics, video games. I'm actually going to be doing Fallout. I got a uh, Elgato, so I'll be doing Fallout 3 tutorials. Um, electronics, like I said, programming. Uh, anything like that, even if it's cooking, just let me know and I will I'll see what I can get going for you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye.